second last one, if not the last one. Um, we'll start with FK. Stop doing that. Okay, FK. Uh, do whatever you want for your controls. I'm going to go for good old circles. I normally like to make my own things in Illustrator and bring them in, but you can draw them in here too. I'm going to go for NURBS. Circle and drag. I'll duplicate it because I'll, I'll reuse it a few times. Um, holding down V, drag one, duplicate, another one, and yeah, why not duplicate it again? We need one of these later on. I'll just pull that out of the way. Okay. Um, I guess at least we may as well rotate them up, which is their x-axis. Let's double check that. Whoa, everything's going crazy. Yes, it's their x, 90 degrees. Um, I'm only doing it roughly now for the moment, and I am going to freeze their transformation for the moment. Now, their rotation axis, we want them to be intuitive for you as an animator. Um, so we kind of like them to start there, you know, uh, kind of aiming with the bone. But the problem is, it's it'll have some X rotation. If I go and I hit freeze transformation, our axis snaps back, and that's not what we want. So... One way to get around this is grouping objects to themselves. First of all, I'll take all the controls and put them in the FK layer, because these are the FK controls. So, add selected objects. And they're all yellowy. Um, so, I'm selecting this, and I'm hitting Edit. I just normally hit Command-G, and... Uh, I should name them. I'm making a mistake. I should name them first. We'll call uh, segment zero one uh, con control and segment zero two control. You might come up with better names, you know, you can wrist or elbow or whatever you like, I don't care. Spiders don't really have wrists or elbows, but who's going to be looking? Um, okay, edit. I'll make, why is that called control group 1? Because it was copied. No, something else is called 3 as well. You're 3, you're 2, you're 1. I never changed you, that's why you've got a 1 at the end. That would be confusing. Okay. And let's group them. Edit. Group. Right. Group is an invisible object that it's parented to. Let's have a look, see, edit in the hierarchy. And then we just have our... These are our other segments. So it's got the same rotation. Now... It doesn't matter what the hell the rotation is on the group. So this is the one we should orient to uh, be correct on the leg. Now it's got screwed up orientation and I'm going to leave it screwed up because um, we're never going to go near it again really. Um, but this remains at zero, 0, so if everyone is zero, 0, I have the controls. We'll get back to the bind pose, um, and we can ignore this one. Uh, just for renaming it, the same as the controller, but with, with 
group after it so I know it's the group and just so no one ever messes with it and I'm assuming I'm happy with the rotation uh, I'm gonna select all of these and I am right clicking and I wanna hide and lock selected so they're gone um, I'm gonna if I'm gonna press the up arrow key, it'll select the next thing up in the hierarchy, which is back selecting a group. As you can see, I have no rotation control over it, no movement, no scaling. Um, this will save anyone messing with it, and now we're just reliant on this, and it's got its correct rotation axis. So, got to do this with all of them, and I'm gonna do it real quick and a little bit sloppy. Um, I'm just key commanding the group on and I'm gonna bother naming it. You should. There we go. That's roughly roughly facing the right direction. We select the chap underneath, he's got the correct rotation now. This guy almost doesn't need one, but for consistency I'll give him one. He's just a little bit angled off there. And finally the last one command group yeah he's nearly full forward as well only one axis really to rotate in him maybe you want to go up a little although you, you should try and look at the bone orientate them that way okay So they're all grouped, we're all happy, you'll have locked their controls, and now we want them to drive the orientation of the FK. And instead of add, I'll just hit apply. We can see the second selected that the, it'll turn purple now, that the actual orientation is now controlled by this. And you've got to go down the hierarchy and do it with with each one and this last chap who's always tricky to select actually before I do that I am going to duplicate this group um, Oh yeah, I can't move it. No, I won't bother. Don't worry. Um, I was going to use it for the same control for the for the IK, but uh, I uh, I'm not going to bother. Okay. Anyway, selecting the ring, then that last bone, and apply. Now another problem exists: the hierarchy. So when we do the, the, they're trying to follow the orient constraint of the other controls, but the other controls aren't following this. So it's just a matter of reparenting. And um, to keep this moving away from the rest of the, yeah, no, I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. I'll select my two control. I'm hitting the up arrow key, so I'm getting the, the group above it. And with that group above it, I'm holding shift, and then selecting this, and edit parent. And you do the same for all the bones. So select this, I want the group that's above it. And then select the, the icon, and I'm just pressing the P key now to parent that, the group, the icon, and P to parent. Now when we rotate, they're all following, and each one has their individual rotation. Uh-oh. What happened to you? Select you, go up, select 
this. You go up one to your group. And that I'm gonna be Hmm. It's probably angry because I locked its controls and I'm trying to parent it. So yeah, do the control locking near the end. Um to unlock um window where did I just get that? General editors channel control and I will select you then up in the locked section here's what has been locked I'll move it out and non-keyable hidden to I've unlocked it now I need to make it visible again so there's the transform and we only really need to worry about the rotate and move okay Going up in the hierarchy to select the group again and this and parent. Let's see, I think that's fixed it. It shouldn't go too crazy now. Yep. So don't do what I did. <laughs> Wait until it's all um till it's you've finished your rig before you go in and start locking controls and or else that kind of thing might happen when you're reparenting the structure. Okay, that is the FK finished. Now it's time for the IK. And I saved a circle from earlier. Um, I'm holding down the V key and transform to get it here. Um, Freezing the transformation actually is a good idea to delete the history as well. Um, I'm going to do my grouping trick again. And while I have that grouped, I'll add it to this layer to change the color of it. Okay. Up one, select, selecting the group, which you will rename and not be lazy like me. Um, so they don't drive you completely mental. Okay, now this will, this will control our IK handle. So selecting the controller, well that's difficult, focus, then the handle, and I'm going to want to apply a point constraint. So when we make the IK handle disappear, this chappy will follow us everywhere. Okay, now we want to control the direction that the IK handle follows. We're going to put a pole vector constraint onto it. Um, I'm going to create a locator, which is just one of these plusy things. Um, again, you can use any kind of NURBS icon or draw your own. Um, snapped it to this point. I'm not sure. I'm usually used to dealing with, with elbows and knees for this. Um, I'm not sure if you need to find a point in between, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just go gonna use this. And selecting the locator, uh, I'll freeze transformation. I'm gonna do that twice. But first I go in and I usually get the pole vector x, y, and z and copy that to the x, y, and z translation of the rota of, of the, the, lo the locator or whatever the icon is. The reason being, if you just go ahead and place it wherever you like, select, I'll apply the constraint without doing the adjustment just to show you what happens. Um, constraint pole vector. Oh, that wasn't bad. Nothing really happened there. That might be the quickest, easiest way to do it. Yeah, go with that. So now, based on the transform of wherever this is in the world, you can point your knee. 
Just wondering, does that cause problems that it's so close? Yeah, it'll need constant readjustment. Go in and I'm gonna undo it. And I like to keep it off the knee. Um, just because you'll pass by the knee and it it, it goes weird there as you've seen. Um, it'll need a lot of adjustments. So I'll freeze transformation, select this, and I usually copy the pole vector information here. This might be a crock of shit. This mightn't work. It normally does work for me. But um, this is a different number of segments. Kind of should have tested this before I hit record. Okay. Now you and what we want affected and pole vector yeah it off if offset it, it moved it a bit it really should be over a bit i'll let you play with that and figure out a, a better way to do it you might even know a better way to do it um but i do like the the control to be well off the knee so you've got a, a little little bit of room to play with before it starts um twisting Okay, that's our control setup. Should name these. Um, it's not really an E. Leg, aim, IK. Um, leg, you're gonna need to do front leg and left and right leg. Leg, IK. Control. Okay, we're good to go. We just have way too many controls on top of each other. Um, and we'll want to hide the IK and FK leg. Um, one last thing I guess we need to do is if the main mesh is moving, he's rearing up or anything, that's going to cause problems especially when you're switching between FK and IK and it's trying to follow the other guys so what we want to do is just switch off joints for a moment we just have IK there if I take this and in joints I want to am I selecting the right thing or would that be the oh, that's wrong and then the main joint, I want to point constrain. Which is wrong. Did I do them in the wrong order? I did. I've done the affected in the wrong order. Okay. So I K off. We select the main rig joint. Then, oh no, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? We want this affecting the IK leg. So I'm holding shift and selecting this now. And constraint point is wrong again. Okay. I've recorded enough so I'll stop this, I'll figure this out and explain it at the start of the next one. Cheers.